This is another week at Tate and Yonko. Welcome one and all to another exciting session of the warehouse updates here at Tate Yonko here in Montreal, the retail division of Naked and Famous Denim. Uh, I'm Terry and we're here to talk about what's going on here in the land of Tate and Yonko at the store. Uh, as always, we'll get started off with a quick little fit check. I like to go bottom to top. So I'm gonna start off with my Altama uh, little salt boots over here. I love these guys. And for today only, I brought out my purple cores. It's very, uh, haven't seen me wear these guys in a long time. These are very special jeans for me. Uh, my wife gave them to me before I started working here. So they're really special. Uh, I love them. They've come in a lot. Definitely change of pace from my elephant true guys. Got my circular knit tee here in the heather blue, and I'm showing off one of our shot leather jackets. I got this guy last year. I love this one. Uh, don't forget, we also carry a wide selection of shot jackets here at Tate and Yoko. So pick one up if you can. I think they're fantastic. I love mine to bits. And one of the things, I have a fun little fact about me today. We're gonna share a little bit of personal deeds, no TMI. Don't worry. Uh, if you didn't know, I live in Taiwan for three years and I speak Chinese with my wife. That's it. Let's swing it over to Vinny. Oh, we're we actually doing like fun facts. Fun facts. I bet. <laughs> I didn't know that. Try to get off the couch. What's good to y'all? <laughs> it's your boy, Chao Su. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got the white circular knit tee on and we got the thick black belt with the solid blacks and the Pumas. Oh, you know yeah. me. I love me my big cats. So, ah, Pumas. And yep. today we got the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I Casio with the uh, friendship bracelet. With the friendship bracelet? Friendships. Okay. And uh, fun fact, I make music, so uh, go stream that. I'm spending my bag on a piece of mind, land loose, motherfucker, don't play me about the time, been racking up mileage at the drop of a dime, hiding how I feel, so I'm doing just fine, like, keeping 100 on the digital dash. Smack That's right, check out, check him out, he's definitely a musician and an artist, thank you very much for being here. <laughs> Alright, over here, who do, you, who do you have next? Who's next? Who's next? Alright, yeah, we, we got, got Vincent. Hello, Vincent from Bride Prevention, here at Naked and Famous, Tate and Yoko, <laughs> and the branded brand. Uh, today I'm wearing the heavyweight crew in a different color, the Marmora. So it's kind of like um, what do, can we say matcha, like green tea almost, like sage. I want to say sage. Yeah. Okay, it's sage. sage. Yeah, sage. Um, I'm wearing the brown thick belt as always, and uh, my natural indigo groovy guys with the loafers. And for all of you that are gonna say, "Oh, you're talking about." You like you like black jeans more, yeah I do, but I still have indigo jeans that need fading, so like you know can't squander my money round. Um, fun fact about me, I can cut hair actually. I'm I'm really good at cutting hair. So Ooh, we should do like a fade review. That's yeah, right. Actually, yes. Fade one day, one day we can find haircuts and I could review them. Yeah, probably. All right, who's next? Are we in the cut. Who's next? Just. What's up, guys? Hope everyone's doing good. Um, so this week I'm wearing, of course, uh, actually, yeah, there's a lot to talk about here. Uh, <laughs> so uh, much like Vincent and, and Terry, uh, I am wearing, well, like Terry, I'm wearing my weird guys today, which does not happen often, and I'm not sure when you're going to see me wearing them again. Uh, but I'm wearing my 23 ounce and my J sixes. I thought you really liked lightweight. Yeah, and see, and like, and like Vincent, and like Vincent, uh, I did say I like light denim, but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy heavy denim. Um, so yeah, that's why I have these. I love them. They're fantastic. They're actually like one of my first, the first day, like properly wearing them out, uh, and they're very uncomfortable. They're fantastic, but they're very uncomfortable. It's my first day. Um, I don't usually wear like a slimmer jean, but um, I am today, and it's. Bit of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Terry. So do you. you we all, he all look beautiful. Uh, up on my shirt, on my t-shirt, I'm wearing our black circular knit, of course. Uh, my street ring, my miscellaneous street <laughs> ring, of course. And a pair of Oxfords. Uh, I bought them a few years ago. They're nothing special, but um, they're okay. The belt. The belt? Oh, right. Uh, actually, key for chain. belt, for my keychain, yeah. actually, I have two today. Yeah. I have mine, and I love it. It's great. Um, and I also have Vincent's over here. Show me the good one. 
Uh, the good one? It's right here. Uh, the belt, the belt hook, uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, the beef's still I love going. it. I always wear it. They're great. Buy one. These are also, they're all right. Uh, they're good. Yeah, patina pretty sick, but, um, you know. Get these guys. They're way better. All right, we got a special guest today. Hi. We got Jovan in the mix. Hi. First time on the video. My name is Jovan. I actually work in uh, wholesale, uh, packing all the jeans for like all the stores that you pick up, Nick and Famous, other than Tatsunyoko. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully I get to be on in the videos more. But yeah, here's my fit. Uh, start at the bottom, New Balance 2002R denim uh, black colorway. Uh, got the Strong Guy, solid black selvage. And I'm also rocking the thick brown belt, uh, fish tan, keychain. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. What's the tea, bro? And fish tan wallet. And yeah. also the Erostica t-shirt. I bought it today. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, very like Halloween theme. We got we got plenty of uh, Roska t-shirts online, so get at that. Um, silver rings, yeah. oh, man. silver all the way. Hell yeah! Pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need a cool fact. Like Yo, cool fact. Oh, oh fun you. fact. Uh, I DJ. I love music, just like Vinny. Well, like all of us here. Um, favorite genre will always be hip hop. Word up. Uh, Leave a comment, favorite genre, oh, yeah, and your yeah. favorite album. Yeah, favorite favorite album, yeah. yeah. Leave a comment with your favorite genre and favorite album there for us to dissect and enjoy. You share all your denim lovers with what you like. So thank you very much, Jovan. Uh, we love you so much. Yeah. Uh, Jovan is one of like the founding pillars here. He's a huge help for everyone here at Tate Yoko. He's actually been with us for a while working so hard behind the scenes. So we're glad that you can come and yeah. say hello today. And that brings me to State of the Warehouse. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what's going on here behind the scenes at Tap and Yoko today. And the news is that we are actually still doing a lot of hems. Seems like hems is the word of the week. Uh, you guys love your hems and a lot of people are asking for hem requests. Uh, we're so happy to you know provide this complimentary service, but this does mean that there's a little bit of a lineup. So if you guys have a hem and you're waiting for a hem, maybe you ordered some jeans with a hem request and you haven't quite gotten anything yet, uh, please be patient. Understanding we are working around the clock here to get these hems out there. In fact, let's do a quick uh, zoom in. Maybe you can see that we've got two shopping carts of hems over there. Those are just jeans that we're sending off the hem department today. Right? Uh, just Wednesday, that's just Wednesday. Yeah, just today. So these jeans are going out there. We're going to be chopping off the bottom so you guys can get them just exactly where you like them. So that's the state for the warehouse. Moving on, let's check our little script over here today. We have a lot of fun stuff today. So we have a very, very special theme today. A theme with a gene, the theme gene. So <laughs> the theme gene of the day is the new Elvira gene. We have a lovely, lovely, lovely gene over here. I want to show this off today. This is a long time coming. Come over here, Vin. You get a lovely picture of this fantastic piece of leg covering. Denim infused Elvira gene magic over here. So come over here. We'll bring it over here on the little, uh, my little display. We'll talk a little about this. So we have this lovely collaboration gene. It's been the works for ages. Uh, those of mega fans around there know that we love doing Halloween themed jeans once a year. We've done uh, some Toxic Avenger before. We've done the Friday the 13th. We've done um, Freddy Krueger. That was also one of the first photo shoots I was in. Fun little fact. And this is no different here. We've got Elvira definitely fitting the theme over here. So let's talk a little bit about the jeans. So it's a 16 ounce indigo by purple. So indigo warp and purple weft. Blue on the outside purple on the inside. That's pretty cool. Um, there's two words I have to use today. They are voluptuous and seductive. <laughs> these jeans have both these qualities. All right. You're voluptuous these... and seductive. <laughs> 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 I try. I try. That. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you, Vinny, for that insight. Let's let's get a zoom in on these voluptuous slubs over here. I'm not to see if how you can pick them up there. If you guys follow the Instagram, you can see some real close-up detail shots of this nice, nice slub. And 
if you go over here, let's take a look at this seductive purple selvage. Seductive purple selvage, there you go. A purple weft inside the gene, 16 ounce, slubby, fantastic. What else do we have? We also have a really cool tag. Excellent. We have this fantastic flasher and patch here. This patch and flasher art was designed by a, a local artist, Andy Belanger, out here, a big buddy of the brand. He's done, worked with us before, especially on our in-store exclusive here at Naked and Famous, uh, sorry, Tap and Yoko, the uh, Belle Provence. And I believe, let's see how well I can show this off. For those people who like to get inside of trousers, we got a real surprise for you. Let's see how well we can show off these magnificent oh, pocket flashes. This is a treat for, you know, only you and whoever gets inside your jeans can see these amazing pocket flashes over here. So look at that. There's Elvira herself with her trademark snake. Big hair, looking magnificent in all her glory. Now y'all so, can say that y'all got a sneak in your pants. Yeah, that's right. You <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. That'll be today's tagline. All right, there we go. These guys will be dropping this Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. You know the drill. Grab them while you can. We're getting the classic forfeit spread. So super weird, easy, and true guy. Grab them all. We'll have them here. Limited quantities. This is a rare collab piece. So it's one and done forever forever ever never coming back forever so know your size ahead of time be ready to jump on that trigger um if you return the size we can't promise that your size will be available to exchange so you know definitely take your time right now the size measurements are up look at them and then you can also make your mind on what you want to go for so thank you very much these are the elvira jeans we'll see them on friday and the next it's still me again. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone who sent in their lovely pick of the day comments. Uh, I went a little bit left field there last time. The word of course was agouti. No, it's not a, there's been a lot of people out there that can come with wrong ideas, how to spell this, how to pronounce this. It is actually agouti. This is a middle American rodent. Thank you everyone who looked this up. And also a big thank you to everyone else there who put some funny comments in their orders. So we actually, let me get over here. Ooh, so I got the light with me. Uh, we always do our best to <laughs> right over here. We always we always do our best to uh, share the funny comments around the office here. And these um, you guys have really outdone yourselves. I'm just gonna go through a couple of the the funny ones here. We're going a little bit risque, as is the theme here. So Estevan from California wrote, uh, "Just like my girlfriend, agoutis eat Brazilian nuts." Okay, oh, there we go. We do. Let's see if that makes it into the live one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not, yeah, we, don't don't said it. we don't take bribes. Yeah, we don't take bribes. <laughs> we don't take bribes. We'll see if that one makes it into the dream. Thank you very much. Um, another, we have another, uh, Arif from Illinois, a fantastic Monty Python reference. Uh, which is to order from Tap and Yoko, you have to answer the question, which is, what is the inseam length of an unladen agouti? And of course, if you are in the know, African or South American. So that's a little uh, Monty Python quote for the older generation out there. Maybe people in my generation, maybe my age. What's Monty Python? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> You guys can look that one up too. Uh, yeah, if you like Monty Python, if you're older, remember those eras. Uh, you enjoy a talk about a good shrubbery? Let us know in the comments as well. We'll appreciate those jokes I'm sorry, as well. Um, and for me, I gotta say, Joe from Illinois, you have like today's winning comment. So we're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read the whole thing out there because it is a definitely a work of art. Keep in mind today's word of the day is agouti. So it says, a good tea. Well, it's a personal preference really, but you can't go wrong with Earl Grey or a good tea. Only I could have a wonder loop in every color. But besides being Orange. my second favorite Italian dish, uh, agouti, my cat likes hunting down some agouti. Being out in the Amazon area isn't easy, but my ocelot loves to chase the cute, cute little guys around. Uh, also, he sent me something to my Vimo, so maybe I do take bribes. So thank you very much, Yo, Joey. Just, <laughs> just to reiterate, no bribes. <laughs> just no bribes. Know. So, know that. Yeah. Uber Eats. So thank you, you very take. much, Joy from Illinois. So for your special comment, I have a special prize over here. Again, from the vaults over here, we pulled out a little. Ooh. 
actually. Oh, that one's sick. Yeah, sorry. Dude, the on. Railroad Chambray. I love that one. It's the Railroad Chambray. It's too small for Justin, but it's going to be just the right size over Word. here for Jerk and Lloyd. Oh, Check out this. This is a lovely work shirt. We've been holding on to this one for a while. So for those cheeky little devils, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cheeky little devils, you can get this lovely, lovely piece. So thank you very much again, Joey. We're going to pick your order. You're going to get that little surprise from us. So just keep in mind, uh, whenever you drop in the special word of the week, we will always read your comments. We'll give you a little something. No matter what, win or lose, you're gonna get something from us. We're gonna give you a little story, maybe a picture, maybe you know, maybe a little gentle poem, a couple extra stickers, always. And the winner that changes every week, and there's always a unique prize. So thank you very much for those who took part in the word of the week. We're gonna move on to the next section, which is, I believe, a talk about some funny jeans. We have some funny jeans to talk about. Funny jeans. Some funny jeans to talk about. Oh yeah. Here. All right. You do the reverse way. Justin no, and Vinny. Oh, Vincent. Justin Vincent, take it away. All right, you first. Oh wow. Okay. Nice. So today we got some old jeans for you. We're looking at jeans that we produced a while ago. These ones we sell right now. That was ones that Vincent sells. He did not sell right now. But we're gonna start with me right now. So we're gonna come over here to our designated jean demonstration zone. So what gene is this? Dope? So this is an old version of our blanket line salvage. As you can see, it's almost identical. It is actually identical to our current blanket line denim right now. You can tell it's older because it has the old um, old logo tags. Now this is like, but I mean like, look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. Look at these fades. These are incredible. Blanket line is fantastic. You're going to be set up for winter right away. Like this is all you need. They're fantastic. Like, look at these seat fades. Look at this fade here. And this is an old, old version too. I was talking to Vincent this morning. I was like, what kind of phone is that? And he's like, no, that's an iPod. That's how old, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm just like, the distressing on these is just beautiful. It's really fantastic. And like the blanket line, the fleece line is like held up so nicely. We don't even have our branded buttons yet. That's how old they are. Old tag, old buttons, old jeans, but you know, they've, hold, they've held up so nicely. Like they're beautiful. I love these. This is like actually like a new, one of my new favorite fades we have in the building. They're just so fantastic. We have a bunch, we have a few, in, quite a few in stock right now, just in time for winter. If you want to stay warm, if you want to stay cozy out there on the streets in your raw denim, be sure to pick up a pair of your blanket line denim available today. Now we're going to send you over to Vincent and he's going to show you maybe an even older and even wackier pair of denim. Definitely up, wackier. Actually, yeah. <clears throat> that's what so, we do here. We do wacky denim here. Definitely, definitely do. Um, we have here our reverse fades, right? You think about it, we love fading. Might as well do it the opposite way. So you can see here, these are old, 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 old. The tag is even different. Everything is different. And we have a smaller, um, what do we call this? Logo tag. Logo tag, hang tag, because you can hang it, can you? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh no, it's stitch all the way around. Anyways, so these are part of uh, our 2011 collections. Um, a reverse fade, they're either wax or resin coated. I, I really am unsure because this is way before my time. I was a child when these were made, um, but essentially these start white and then end up reverse fading to blue. Can you believe that, right? Very non-traditional. <clears throat> we have our regular button fly, which has the most wear, as you can see. And so it's, it has that, is that a macro? Can you get a, a good shot of that right there? It's going to indigo. Instead of indigo to white, we're going white to indigo. And we have our non selvage because I don't know, actually. <laughs> But regardless, <laughs> you or do not know. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Yo, bro. This this is quite the unique pair. Um, I don't think you could ever find any other company that does more yeah, unique than Yeah, I was gonna say you are you're probably not gonna like, ever find anything we like have this. Ever. Iridescent. None. Zero. We've made iridescent. We've made um, scratch and sniff. We've scratch made. and sniff. What do you call the ones where you touch and it changes color because they those heat? thermal thermal, thermal yeah. ones. The thermogenic. Not the thermo stretch, that's a winter jean. Yeah. But we, yes, there was way back in the beginning, there was a pair of naked famous jeans he that would change color when they got warm or cold. I'll tell you something. So you can see, 
So you can see your fades, your hand fades, whatever, yeah, your butt fades. fades. Uh, I think there's even a video up there, one of the oldest videos on the Naked and Famous YouTube channel. If you click on there and go right back to the beginning, you can see a couple dancing around in a snowbank showing off those gnarly jeans. And that is kind of like the theme of today is just reminding people kind of like the genesis of the brand Naked and Famous, which is yeah. wild and wacky denim. Um, that's why I'm wearing kind of like my purple cores today. That's the extreme on one end. It's kind of just like exactly. funky stuff over here. And speaking of purple cores, we have a very, very special Ooh. pair of purple cords. We today. have our a supremely special pair of purple cords. I'm gonna wear my sweat jeans for these videos. Oh, everyone sweat, hates. Oh God. Everyone hates on my sweat jeans. That's another crazy pair of jeans. I it's done. sweatpants jeans. Sweatpants. Yeah. Jeans. Anyways, onto the purple fade. Onto the pur purple cords. Purple. Purple. Purple so, fades. but yeah, they are purple fades. So, for today's fade review, I'm gonna be doing today's. I have the honor of doing today's fade review. These were sent in to us by our good friend Jameson. Now, Jameson, um, Jameson, much like myself, is a dancer. I came to Montreal originally to study dance. I studied uh, at a school here in Montreal. I studied three years of intensive dance. Um, and I graduated quite recently before um, beginning work here. I'm still a dancer. I'm going to continue to dance. And I love dance. Don't but ever stop dancing. <laughs> never stop time. dancing. Yo, can Don't we ever. Like that goes for you guys too. No. I will not be tap dancing for you today. Maybe one day. But Jameson is also a dancer. He has his own uh, ballet company. And these were also, as when he was wearing them, uh, he was wearing these, these were his competition for the uh, competition pair for the Indigo Open. Now he wore these, he did a lot of crazy stuff in these. Um, he wore these back and forth from the studio. Um, yeah, let's actually open these up. Let's get some interesting stuff. There's some cool stuff here on top of them being faded to purple. There's a lot going on here, uh, but they're fantastic. I love them. Uh, he needed a bigger size. He's got some big legs. He's got some big legs. He does ballet, um, and there's some big boys out there that do ballet, big thighs. Um, so this pair here was worn for, I believe it was, it was consistently worn for six months. Then after that, he wore that, he wore them for a total of nine months, I believe. Yeah, so a total for nine months, but he also, he did some interesting stuff. He did some experimental washing stuff. He washed, he wore, he washed, he wore them. Oh my God, I can't talk. Wash and wore sounds so similar in my head. He wore them for three months consistently and then he gave them their first wash. But after that, he started washing them more consistently. Uh, he wanted a more like vintage look. And that is and on top, like, but that goes to show, even if you wash your jeans, you're not going to get non -con high contrasting fades. You still can get good, nice contrasting fades, even if you do wash your jeans. And these have some beautiful fades. We even got some sashiko repairing here, right around the pocket from what looks like to be a wallet or a phone, maybe. Looks like a phone. Maybe it's fantastic. Oh, it's amazing. We got some raw hems right here. He unhemmed them, maybe, and it's fantastic. Look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. It looks amazing. Um, got that purple line salvage ID. Yeah, that kind of shows what it was like when it, when we first got it. And these are the purple cores. So let's see. See if they can like that little trick from before. Let's see what they look like before. It's kind of what they look like before there. It's what the OG was, the original denim looked like, if you can see that. Now it's a little bit hard to tell, but it goes from that to like this. I know it's a little bit difficult to see. Can you get that from me, Vinny? Sick. Cool. Hopefully that got it. But no, it's like the fading on these are insane. Face here. So, like I said, he was doing some pretty, uh, some interesting stuff with the fading. He washed them. He actually dunked them into the uh, the ocean a few times. So it's got mm. some salt water there. He even tried bleaching them. Actually, a little, just a little bit of bleaching uh, to see what that would get him. And I think it worked. So you can also you can also smell a little bit of bleach in there. So it, it stuck around a bit throughout after the wash. Um, but yeah, Jameson's got a fantastic pair of jeans here. They're beautiful. They're amazingly distressed. Um, Actually, one thing I do want to mention, he did say a unique fade thing, uh, fade uh, pattern he noticed here was in 2020, uh, 2021, he uh, had an accident, a uh, series of knee injuries, which I understand. I had some knee injuries. I had some ankle injuries. I had some surgery on my ankle uh, and it caused your, the lack of movement causes your muscles to atrophy. So your leg is going to shrink. He noticed here, he has two, on the left side here, he has two fade patterns from his knee. But on the right side, there's only one. 
And that's because the leg, the shape of his leg changed and causes different fade patterns because of the size of his leg changing, it atrophies and your leg shrinks and you have different fade patterns because if your leg is like one size and then it changes, it's gonna fade in a different way. So that's why you have two knee whisper, whiskers here on this left side and one on this right side, which is a cool way of just like showing like that's how your denim changes and morphs to your body kind of, and kind of shows like the life you live in them. But these are you are sure really, you're like a dancer and, and not a physician? A physician? Well, I mean, you know, you kind of, when you dance, you kind of have to know these things. You have to know about your body well. Very true, very true. Doctor of Denim. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, these are just fantastic. Beautiful, yeah. I'm getting like, uh, I'm getting some jean envy over here. I'm wearing my purple cores over here. I'm looking at James' uh, fade pair over there, and I'm just imagining like what awaits for me in the future so i'm still looking forward to getting mine to that level yeah so jameson's uh you want we're gonna shout out jameson's uh instagram here it's second best genist uh feel free to that? follow him there what was that how do you spell that Sec yeah right here so sec two and d let's go up here so a bit of a, right there best Gene ist. There we go. He says he hasn't been posting too much lately, but he plans to be getting back on there. And feel free to take a look at his Instagram and see what he's been up to and what jeans he's fading right now. So. Thank you very much, Justin, for that fantastic fade review there. Uh, the great pair. I particularly like the uh, raw edge on those jeans. That's a fantastic way to show off the color core. Uh, again, purple jeans, purple fade, Elvira purples. That's right. If you want to get your purple right away without having to wait for the core to fade, if you want to show off the purple from day one, Elvira, which drops this Friday, would be a great place to do it. Um, and then, yeah, that's right. I think that brings us up to the word of the day. Hot takes. Hot takes? We got some hot takes? Yes. All right, Vincent. Look, let's do a quick hot take from Vincent. What do you have to say, Vincent? Greatest sandwich at McDonald's is the filet -O fish double time. Two patties, tartar sauce, stop playing around. If you go to a bar, actually, whatever fried fish delicacy, you go to a, you go to a bar, you're inebriated with your friends, there's only one thing you should be buying, fish and chips. Get the tartar sauce in. I don't care what anyone says about batter fish, especially the filet -O fish. Come on, like, what's in those patties? We know it flakes, okay? So it's real fish. All that's right. all I gotta say. That's what Vincent. After, that's his I hot ate take like for this weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's Vincent's hot take on pub food. Well, the poor went out for all those poor hot wing enthusiasts out over there. Let us know, of course, your hot takes in the comments. We do like to read them. It'll become fuel for arguments in upcoming videos. And with that, I want to say, oh wait, word of the day, word of the day. So thank you very much, all the super loyal mega fans out there watching all the way to the end. I have a very special word of the day, keeping in theme with this spooktobery season. We're gonna go for a word that uh, came to me while thinking of the Elvira jeans. And today's word is Beelzebub. That's right. That's right. We're going pretty what? dark and deep over here. Beelzebub. That Beelzebub. is right. That is a word for this week. Drop that word in the comments. And the best comment will win a special prize from us. Runner ups for everyone. We always get a little something, a little, uh, a little surprise. <laughs> No, <laughs> you know, yeah, you always get a little surprise from us over here at Naked Famous, and we love hearing what you guys have to say. And that's it for now. Be kind and look after each other. Thank you. If you can get a curse as a surprise. Sorry. No, curses. Sorry. No, no curses. No curses. No curses. Only jeans. Only love. Only jeans. Thank you very much. Have a good one, guys.